r slash ask reddit what is the most obvious lie you have ever been told we cannot give you a raise right now but we will compensate you as soon as the budget allows turns out when the budget allows is when you already have another job offer and put in your two weeks notice how convenient well we just so happen to already have a raise of open bracket how much more you said the other company offered planned for you we were going to give you the good news this evening in high school a buddy told me that he didn't steal our other buddy's watch he was wearing the watch when i asked him about it long term borrowing he'll give it back some say i'm sure some might say so but i'm not one of them your call is important to us or we are experiencing unprecedented call volume at this time a representative will be with you shortly and we have always been at war with east asia the company is in a great shape so don't pay any attention to rumors about financial trouble my boss who still has about three execs above him tells me that this is the first company he's ever worked for that has enough money in the bank for all the employees to not work an hour and they could still pay our wages for six months at least we have like 60 high-end employees what he doesn't remember is that i was ap for a solid nine months when my position got slow there is no ducking way we have that in the bank lol why don't they understand that the truth is nicer than falsehood their worried employees will jump ship to a competitor that seems more stable i was picking up a sofa from a guy i found on kijiji and he stopped me right before leaving to see if i wanted to buy a mirror he was also looking to get rid of i wasn't really interested but my wife seemed keen so we stopped in the hallway to check it out he said it was a gift from my son-in-law it's a beautiful mid-century antique i'll let it go for 75 dollars he went on about what an amazing mirror it was and even told me pick it up and feel how sturdy it is dot i picked it up it was really heavy actually, and took a peek at the back and saw a sticker from Value Village with a $30 price tag. I kinda chuckled to myself and asked if he would go any lower than $75. He said I really couldn't. Then I said well, I can see a tag from Value Village on the back here. We ended up getting the mid-century antique mirror for $15 and me and my wife still laugh about the amazing deal we got on it. Reminds of of when I did custom framing for a retail store and a woman came in with a painted piece she wanted reframed. She went on how it was very very valuable and how I better be careful. Her great grandmother painted it. You know, it's the last painting she has by her. I'm 90% sure she was planning on complaining no matter how carefully we reframed it so that she could say we damage her priceless artwork and get the frame for free. When I peeled back the backing paper to take it out of the frame there was still a faded clearance. $14. 99 inches tag on the back of mayo. Woman looked like she bit into a lemon. Ah yes the joys of custom framing in a big box store. This sounds just like the clients I had coming into the Michaels store I worked at after college. We're not playing favorites. Was told I needed to buy my own car as a teen and I did. Following year my baby bro was given a free car. He's 15 moss younger. Is now 56 still living at home. Ugh. My sister had her car and college pretty much paid for. I was basically told to kick rocks. We will keep your resume on hand. And let you know if any other positions open up. As a recent graduate job searching. It hurts. Job recruiters are such dongs about the whole process. I went into interview for a job. And they paraded me around their different locations for 3 months and ghosted me. Shit ducking hurts. Numerous other employers don't ever respond. I appreciate the duck out of companies that will at least tell me when they decide not to move forward with me as a candidate. But of course, I have to be available for an interview in 2 days because I can't be busy. Right? Edit. Wow. I am so sorry so many of you can empathize with my situation. I hope you all have good jobs now where you feel somewhat fulfilled and make enough money to live somewhat comfortably. A while back I had a company email me saying I had 8 hours to send back a 10 minute video interview, requiring both directly answering questions into the camera and presenting a powerpoint with voiceover. Busted my ass recording and editing that ducking thing. Emailed it. No response whatsoever. I was pissed. As a tax accountant, I'm told lies about how much money people actually made all the time during tax season. 
My favorite was a guy telling me he's broke because he only makes $35.000 slash year in NYC so my very reasonable fee is too much for him. He says this after he asks me if he can deduct the new BMW 5 series he just bought his son all cash. It isn't just the lie, but the added insult of such a bad lie told to one's face that is so galling. Had another client last week tell me he doesn't have any money to live cause of the pandemic. He bought a $750.000 condo in Greece as a vacation home a couple months ago. It's like these people forget that our job is literally to track what they do with their money. That's not a hickey I bruised my neck helping my sister move today thank you for the awards. Can't believe my top comment is about my shitty ex Lomeo. I told my mom I got it from football practice. She asked why my teammates were giving me high keys. Your mother is a gem. Yeah I did all my homework in like 5 minutes I promise holy shit this comment blew up. But thanks lol. Oh. I sent you my homework via email. I must have made a typo in your address. That's a rookie way. Create a batch file that brings up a corrupt file error. Send them that. Then you get more time to finish the project while they send an email back saying the file was corrupted. You can tell them I'll resend it when I get home. When my little brother mixed like 50 condiments, including sprinkles, ketchup, cereal and stuff, into a bag of popcorn and ate it telling us it was delicious when his face looked like he had just ate 10 extremely sour warheads at once. He later admitted he just wanted us to eat it but we never did. One time my little brother tried to make me a sandwich just to be nice but said sandwich was just chocolate chips cookies covered in mustard between two pieces of bread. He clearly wanted to see how I'd react and I of course refused to eat it. He told our mom I was being rude and the worst part was after she actually saw the sandwich he still said I was supposed to humor him. I just threw it away and told both no. Wow your mom was in on it too lol. I can finish this Civ game tonight. One does not simply finish a Civ game. 4 in the morning later. Got him you Gandhi. Does it count if the person believed me because I told someone the world was in black and white until the first nuclear explosions? When a co-worker told my own story back to me as his own. Twice. I had a friend do this once. He was hanging out with a large group of my friends that he hardly knew and my best friend. Still my best friend to love that ducker. Just went wow it's so crazy you had there but in the exact same childhood story that Jason has told us all before. Right down to the small town in Kansas where it happened and the color drained straight out of his face. Didn't say a word to me for like 3 days. Dude turned out to be a pathological liar on many levels. Very strange to think how I spent 4 years of high school with someone lying straight to my face constantly and didn't realize it until that moment. Wow that's crazy. Reminds me of the time I had a friend do this once. He was hanging out with a large group of my friends that he hardly knew and my best friend. Still my best friend to love that ducker. Just went wow it's so crazy you had there but in the exact same childhood story that Jason has told us all before. Right down to the small town in Kansas where it happened and the color drained straight out of his face. Didn't say a word to me for like 3 days. Dude turned out to be a pathological liar on many levels. Very strange to think how I spent 4 years of high school with someone lying straight to my face constantly and didn't realize it until that moment. I did brush my teeth. I swear. This toothbrush. Bone dry. So we agree that this is your toothbrush? Loyalty to a company would be repaid. Ah. Being a millennial. Why should we have loyalty to a company that thinks of us as expendable? My little girl told everyone in the supermarket that our cat died and she was sad. We don't own a cat. Well, not anymore. I've had toddlers with faces hands clothes covered in peanut butter swear up and down that their brother slash sister was the one who ate the peanut butter. Also, one of my favorites from a couple of years ago. I didn't write that. Semicolon Sean edit once more. Sean claimed he didn't write that with his hands covered in the charcoal he used to write that. My kid is an only child. Man. Her imaginary friend is to blame for everything. My. Only child. Daughter was less than 2 years old. There was a scribble of pencil on the wall. Like 18 inches off the ground. I said who did this? Comma. Seizing the opportunity to act out a classic mom line for the first time. 
She pointed to her sister, my beagle, and declared no, Lily, bad, shook her tiny finger at the dog and toddled off, hysterical. Any lieutenant saying that the platoon can go home early on a Friday if you work hard right now. Just about anything a lieutenant says should be run by the captain first, unless the lieutenant says, I don't know, in which case he's probably right and is probably prior enlisted as well. My ex told me he was in a car accident, totaled his car, broke a few ribs, open bracket, he was trying to get sympathy so I would get back together with him, blaming the accident on me, since he was distracted after the breakup, he sent me a photo of his car smashed in, I google searched it, first pic of his make model that was wrecked, he formulated the story after the picture, but here's the deal, the wheels didn't match, so I drove by his house that evening car was fixed and in his driveway oh yes i paid the shop extra to get me in today so i could have my car to come see you if you wanted me to (laughs) haha bro an ex of mine picked up gig work out of state he tried to tell me that a gang of guys attacked him with crowbars and two x4s two nights before said he had broken his nose shattered the bones around his eye broken ribs etc i called his bluff He sent me pictures of him wearing a neck brace and ace bandage around his chest. I commented, your face looks fine, you don't have a bruise on you. Putting on a bandage and brace you bought at Walgreens isn't gonna sell it. He snaps back, I don't bruise naturally and plastic surgeons fixed my face. He sang a different tune later when he fell down a flight of stairs and actually injured himself. I didn't give him sympathy then either. A childhood friend and I met up for coffee one day after not meeting for a few years. He casually let it slip that ever since he earned a black belt he has had to register with the state as a human weapon. My hands are registered as lethal weapons. That means. We get into a fight. I accidentally kill you. I go to jail. Anybody accidentally kills anybody in a fight. They go to jail. It's called manslaughter. I never said you had to sign the document if it wasn't true says the person with 3 emails telling me to sign a document even after I said it wasn't true sitting on her outbox. I was given a blank lease from a realtor and he told me to sign it. Nope by blank I meant a standard Ontario lease with nothing filled in. Had the same conversation with unscrupulous tow company. I'd just been in a major wreck. And while pulling items out of the car I knew I'd never see again. They handed me a blank form to sign. Don't worry, we will fill in the details afterwards. Duck off, I'm sure it worked plenty of times, considering they were targeting people in moments of vulnerability. I speak French, though I'm losing it from lack of use, but one of my college guy friends started dating a girl from France. He was all excited because she could talk to me in her native language and I could help translate. So he brought her to a party at my sorority house and introduced us. I greeted her in French with a very simple, bonjour, bienvenue, comment ça va which is just hi, welcome, how are you, blank stare and red face in response. She then said, in what I thought was a kind of strange accent, that she's sorry, she didn't understand me. I looked at the guy and said I thought you told me she was French, because maybe she was a different nationality and he was confused. He looked at her and she just turned and left. He followed then returned a bit later and said he had caught up to her and she started screaming at him in perfect midwestern accented English that he was a jerk for setting her up to look like a fool. He had genuinely been excited that he could introduce her to someone she could talk to so he was blown away by her accusations and then angry that she lied. She apparently felt faking an accent would make her more appealing or something. I would see her around on campus after that but she avoided me like the plague. TBH. I felt bad for her. But if you're going to fake it, at least pick a country with a language you can speak. Too bad she avoided you afterwards. Would have been the cherry on top if you always greeted her with bonjour and a shit eating grin if you had met occasionally. Reminds of that post where the guy has been faking an Aus accent for all of college. But is screwed BC he wants to marry his GF that thinks he is Australian. Mum opened the door to my closet weed farm her. What is this? Me. Panicking. E. Tomatoes? Her. Right. Be careful with those lamps she never asked about my tomatoes edit. This happened in my apartment. She was looking for something and accidentally opened the closet. I had a friend tell his mom it was a science project. For the survey. Could you tell us? 
On a scale of church organist to Willie Nelson, just how toasted you felt after cookie number 3? My friend told me that getting a Peloton changed her life. I looked up her workout stats and she had used it 4 times in 5 months of owning it. Her husband fared a little better with using it 9 times. Don't know why this annoyed me so much. Being able to tell people she owns a Peloton changed her life. Using it would be overkill. Peloton has replaced Bowflex as the most expensive coat rack these days. Used to play D&D with a pathological liar. Open bracket. Side note, he had the most incredible luck with natural 20 rolls. Another thing about this guy is he always tried to act like a macho tough guy too who had been in serious scrapes and such. So one time, unprompted, he said under his breath, but obviously wanting us to hear, I've got to get this shrapnel out of me. We were just like, sure man, whatever you need to do, edit. Just remembered another thing he did once that was even better. We were taking a break and several of us had just stepped away from the table so it was just me, him, and maybe one other person and he pulled out his phone and did that thing like in the movies where you don't say hi or anything he was just like talk to me. Pretended to have a very brief conversation and ended it with I'm on it or something like that and then hung up. This is so cringe. I, too, need to remove these unholy bloodsheds of Angma. I hope the village healer takes a Bama care. Rolls 5. Damn. Out of network. My co-worker once tried to convince me that centaurs exist. She said they lived in a gated community in Hollywood and did all the horse stunts for movies. Did we both know it was a lie? Yes. Did she ever admit it was? No and I admire that about her. WTF this is so out there lol. Nah bro she's actually right about that one. I saw it once it's true. I've been on the run ever since. My friend said he had a body count of 200 plus. He was a slightly fat guy who spends all his free time on video games and hates to leave his apartment. I mean, he never said he was talking about sex. Have you been in his basement? Trillions of potential lives ended in his socks alone. The cat scratched me. You literally don't own a cat though. My fork fell onto my arms then. IDK. I woke up on my blanket and it left these marks on my arm. I swear. So there's a needle hanging off your skin. It wasn't me. Honey came in and she caught me red handed creeping with the girl next door. Picture this we were both butt naked banging on the bathroom floor. In 5th grade, a friend of ours used to try to convince us he used to hang out with the band Sublime. Among other stuff, he said that he was the person featured on the cover of their self-titled album and he used to do drugs with them and even tried heroin once. We were ducking 11 years old and he claimed this all happened 2 years before he even moved to our school. So yeah, a ducking 9 year old did all this wild shit. We constantly called bullshit but he would just continue to lie and make up more stuff. We stopped hanging out with him because he was so full of shit. When I was 15, I had a friend that tried to tell me the exact same story. What if Sublime was just hanging out with children? What if it's the same friend? You're the best I've ever had at it. Thank you for the award kind stranger. She was just trying to get you to stop crying. My mom after 11 year old me accidentally destroyed her favorite vase by throwing my brother's stuffed animals around the living room. I'm not mad. I love you after I found out I was being cheated on. She had the audacity to kiss me too. Lumpharu same thing happened to me too. Except I got the I want to spend my whole life with you too bs. Sorry brother. It gets better. You don't need someone like that in your life. Used to have a friend that spewed bullshit all the time. Told me her bio parents. Who lived together. Were divorced and seeing other people. And also that she had 25 siblings. Brought it up to her mom one time, which was an interesting conversation. She also told us she had cancer, and then a week later it was miraculously cured. Edit. Spelling. I have a family member who did the cancer thing. A cousin found out it was a lie, but the one that I'll never forget was when I introduced her to my friend who has lupus. I don't know how the topic came up about it but she literally told my friend in front of me that she also had lupus. I immediately ended the conversation and left. I told my friend she's was lying and now we laugh about it but seriously. No shame. 
When I was a kid, the internet wasn't a thing so, my friends were whoever happened to live in the neighborhood. One kid was a well known liar and exaggerator. We were maybe 14 years old at this time. This kid could play guitar and was always talking himself up about it and talking about his band. He actually could play, but his band did not exist. One day, I called him at his house. From my house, I don't remember what it was about, but a few minutes into the conversation, told me, by the way, I'm in Florida with my band, just out of the blue, this was before even pagas were a common thing, I called him, at his house, I just said something like, a hug, okay, and ended the conversation, I then proceeded to tell all the other kids in the neighborhood, my first watch was an Amiga and I saved up on high school to get it, one of my good friends back then asked to wear it for one period and would give it back at lunch. He begged and begged so as a HS kid I gave in or couldn't keep saying no I guess. Weak on me, obviously. Well, he smashed it. Apparently smashed the glass to test it. Gave it back and said it was a fake and that's why the glass cracked and said he didn't do it and it just fell apart. A-hole became a medical doctor and is now involved in politics and holds state office. I'm still pissed about the watch he never admitted he broke cause he was salty and jealous. Dong head then. Dong head now. My opponent borrows watches from their friends and then breaks them out of spite. Is this really WHO we want representing our interests in government? Political attack ad. Not on my watch. Just 5 more minutes on reddit. It will all be over by easter. If you tell me the truth, I won't be mad. IDK. This pretty much held for me as a kid. If I did something stupid or bad, as long as I came clean about it and took responsibility, I either didn't really get in trouble. Or the punishment was always lighter than if I tried to lie about it, and that served me pretty well as an adult, more than once in college and in my job. If I ducked up, getting out ahead of it and owning it always led to a better outcome and, if it didn't, at least I could respect myself for how I handled the issue. This pretty much held for me as a kid, if I did something stupid or bad, as long as I came clean about it and took responsibility, I either didn't really get in trouble, or the punishment was always lighter than if I tried to lie about it. Emo this was good parenting on your parents part, if you do this and then back out you're just teaching the kid to lie instead of telling the truth cause the lesson being taught is, lie anyway because even if you tell the truth you will get punished just as harshly. My brother told me I was a dragon and I totally believed him. Man I was a dumb kid, but now I'm a dumb adult. When my friend was an infant, her mother put her 2 year old sibling in her crib while the mom left the room briefly. When mom came back, my friend was crying and had teeth marks on her forehead. When mom asked the older sibling what happened, she calmly said, she bit herself. Whoa. You made it to the end, you're a ducking beast, I'll cut you a deal, smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh, it's free and that's a great price.